Well, streaming service Quibi is shutting down after just six months in operation. ABC's TJ Holmes has more on what went wrong for the platform that attracted some big celebrity names and almost $2 billion in investments. It was the streaming service meant to change entertainment. Quibi, hoping to hook mobile users by offering five to ten minute quick bites of content. The short form clips backed by superstars like Chrissy Teigen, who hosted Chrissy's Court. This is Chrissy's Court. A punked reboot starring Chance the Rapper. We're looking out now! And dozens of award winning famous faces Sophie Turner, Liam Hemsworth, and the marvelous Mrs. Maisel's Rachel Brosnahan. Can you make it out of cold? Some of that original content cost upwards of $100,000 per minute to produce. And this morning, the billion dollar business has gone belly up, shutting down after only six months. I'll be there in a quibby. A what? A quibby. Less than 10 minutes. The streaming service launched in April, backed by a who's who of Hollywood power players like Steven Spielberg, Queen Latifah, and Reese Witherspoon. But the A-list talent wasn't enough to save the streamer. In an open letter to employees, CEOs Jeffrey Katzenberg and Meg Whitman announced the shutdown and apologized to investors and employees. The executives acknowledged that maybe the platform just wasn't destined for success because the idea itself wasn't strong enough to justify a standalone streaming service or because of our timing, adding, we suspect it's been a combination of the two. According to the Wall Street Journal, the company has been riddled with problems from lack of viewership to a multi-million dollar lawsuit for violating patents. Still, how is it that with so much star power, Quibi, the billion dollar promise, could possibly flop? It's not enough to have stars. It's not enough to have original content. You need to be very aware of what the market will hold, what your audience is, what they're willing to pay. What are they watching? What are they talking about? All right, that was TJ Holmes reporting.